hey guys welcome back to automation elearn in this video i will explain how to delete and restore the branches on github so there are various ways and various combinations to delete and restore the branches while working on your project so i will be explaining all the combinations in this video so these are the scenarios that we are going to discuss in this video we will see how to delete and restore the branch when pull request is not created you simply have a branch and you want to delete the branch from github when the pull request for that branch is not created second scenario is delete and restore a branch when pull request is open but it is not yet merged third scenario is we will see how to delete and restore a branch after pull request is merged and we will also understand what is the best practice to follow to delete and restore the branches on github to explain all these scenarios i am going to refer a repository which is git reset under my account and uh, first of all you need to log into your github account and you must have write access in the repository then only you can delete the branches otherwise you cannot so we need to ensure two things first you are logged in into your account your github account and second thing is you should have write access on github for this particular repository if you do not have write access then you will not see the option and you are not eligible to delete any branches on your repository and my first scenario is delete a branch when pr is not created it means you have a branch on your repository for example here i have feature 7 feature 1 feature 6 so all these are the branches and for these branches pull request is not yet created whereas here i have feature 15 for which pr was created and it is merged and for demo branch pr is created and it is still open but first scenario says delete a branch when pr is not created it means we can refer either feature 7 or feature 6 or feature 1 also so let's take feature 6 and this is the branch it has some changes and uh, pull request is not created so if you go to branch list i'll show you again so this is the home page of repository and here we have option to see all the branches and if i click on this then here you can see all your branches default branch the branch which is associated with the current user and you can also see all the branches which are available let's say if your collaborator has also created any feature branch then also you can see over here so to understand this let's refer feature 6 and here for each of the feature branches i have an option to delete so here using this option i can delete feature 6 so let's click on this and now feature 6 is deleted we can see deleted just now by user suresh dubey and here i am getting a restore option as well so if i am deleting a branch from branch list and uh, after deleting it i'll see the restore option and using this i can restore the branch again if i'll browse feature 6 then i can continue my work on feature 6 as usual so i have deleted and i have restored also let me delete it again feature 6 okay i have deleted it again i'm getting a restore option and here if i'll refresh the page then feature 6 is gone we cannot see feature 6 over here and we also don't see any option to restore the branch so if you delete the branch from the branch list from here then immediately you will get an option to restore the branch but if you refresh the page or if you come back here again then you won't see that option and your feature branch is deleted so if you want to restore we have to restore it immediately 
otherwise we will not get that option again so this was the first scenario where we deleted one feature branch when the pull request was not created this scenario we discussed now let's talk about the second scenario where we need to delete a branch when the pr is opened so for this purpose i can refer my demo branch where pull request is created i can see the i can see the pull request number so this is the pull request number 2 and here i am proposing merge demo branch into master branch so this is the right candidate for our second scenario where where pull request is created but i want to delete that branch so let's understand this here for demo branch also even though pull request is created and it is still open i'll have an option to delete the branch let's use this and this time just because pull request is open i'm getting one alert from github saying the branch demo is associated with one pull request one open pull request and this is the pull request id if you delete this branch pull request will be closed are you sure you want to delete this branch so from here we can take a call whether i want to delete it or not so let's move ahead and delete this and remember pull request for this particular branch is open let's delete this again like last time we are getting one option here to restore if i will refresh the page then i won't see that option to restore the demo branch but what happened to the pr let's go and visit this so this is the pull request number 2 related to demo and which is closed earlier it was open but just because we have deleted demo branch so respect to open pull request were closed automatically and here i can see the detail like suresh dubey closed this now so it is a automatic entry because we deleted the branch and from pull request page i can again restore the branch here on the branch list page i was not getting an option but if you go and open the respective pull request for that particular branch and if you scroll down to the end here we have an option to restore the branch again so let's go and restore the branch so restore demo branch now and uh, let's verify it over here so again i can see my demo branch and pull request number is this and the pull request is status is closed it will not be opened again so this is how we can delete and restore the branch for which pull request is open while deleting you will get an warning if you still go ahead and delete the branch github will delete the branch and it will automatically close the pr and after deleting you will get an option to restore here otherwise you need to go and open the pull request and at the bottom of the pull request you will have an option to restore the deleted branch using which you can restore and from the pull request page only you can again delete the branch so deletion and restoration can be done any time on pull request page so this was the second scenario where we deleted and restored the branch when pull request was open let's talk about third scenario where we want to delete and restore the branch when pr is merged so again i'll visit branch list page and here i have a feature 15 for which pull request was created and the status is merged so this is the pull request number four which is merged where the request was to merge feature 15 into feature 7 but that pull request is already merged and closed and here as usual i'll get an option to delete the branch 
let's use this and we will see the same behavior like if we delete it we will get the option to restore and if i refresh the page then i will not see the option to restore here let's restore this and if i'll go to pull request here the same pull request for feature 15 the status is merged and uh, like i showed you in the second scenario from here from the pull request page again i can delete the branch because pull request is merged we will not see any warning and from here also i can restore the branch again let's refresh this page again and if you scroll down still we will see the option to restore the branch so from the pull request page you will have an option to delete and restore the branch always you can go open the pull request and you can delete the branches if you have not deleted and if you have deleted and you want to restore you can again use this option to restore the branch and you can continue working with feature 15 as usual let's go here on the feature list and on the branch list we can see feature 15 is restored and i can continue working with as usual so these were the three scenarios where I can delete the branch and I can restore it after deleting. Now let's talk about the best practice that we should follow on GitHub about deleting and restoring the branches. So as per the standard practice, if you have a feature branch and uh, then eventually you will be raising a pull request, right? Let's say you have a feature seven and you are done with feature seven now then eventually you will raise a pull request like this let's create the pull request so the pull request says i want to merge feature 7 changes into master and after getting approval and all you will merge this pull request right let's merge this and after merging github will provide you an option to delete the branch then and there only so once the pull request is merged the best practice is to delete the branch immediately because the changes from this feature branch is already merged you don't need this branch anymore right so we should delete the branch immediately after pull request is merged in rare case if you want to restore then as discussed earlier you can restore it anytime but the best practice says delete the branch after pull request is merged so that we will not have uh, tons of branches over here so your branch list should be very clean and neat we should only keep the branches which are required and which are active so guys these were the scenarios and uh, step by step details to delete and restore the branches on github i hope you have learned something new today from this video you can reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions and guys you can also subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you